Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, we are uh, having a little bit of a late start. So uh, this panel, despite the fact that it does address one of the most complex uh, issues in the whole world, is going to last a little shorter. I had a long, uh, I prepared a long introduction. But since I am probably the, ne the least knowledgeable person on the stage about the issue, uh, I'm going to forego the introduction that, uh, that I prepared. I'm just going to start out by saying uh, that my closest encounter with, uh, with the Korean issue was at a time when I served as President of the United Nations General Assembly in 2013, when uh, one of the nuclear tests uh, was performed by the North Korea. And, and I was in office, and I very well remember the early morning when this became news, and when I had uh, uh, very agile conversations since early morning with my uh, American colleague, with my South Korean colleague, uh, everybody uh, asked me to, uh, to call for, for a session of the General Assembly, an emergency session, and, and I said, uh, of course, uh, I will do that, uh, but I need to talk to the ambassador of North Korea first. So I invited to my office the ambassador of North Korea, and I asked him, sir, uh, there are deep concerns about what took place last night. Uh, in North Korea, and he asked me, what happened? And I said, well, actually, the whole world is talking about this, and there seems to be, uh, you know, uh, a nuclear test that was performed. And he said, that is not true. Do not believe the propaganda of the West. So I must admit that I was puzzled with this conversation, but uh, nonetheless, we did proceed to hold a session of the General Assembly. But uh, but that was, my, uh, that was my closest call with, uh, with the issue that uh, has been dominating uh, the agenda of international relations for decades. And especially in the last year, year and a half, uh, there were some turbulent developments from fire and fury and nuclear buttons to a uh, to bunch of smiles and handshakes and, uh, and, uh, and a very hopeful uh, discourse, uh, according to many observers in this particular case. But as I said, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to speak more about, uh, about, the, about the issue. Here on the stage, we have uh, some really, really impressive group of people. Uh, on my uh, immediate left is uh, Taskin Elbagdorj, former president of Mongolia and a dear friend of mine, actually a classmate of mine from graduate school. Uh, he, is, uh, he was the leader of the peaceful democratic revolution in Mongolia in the 1990s and uh, served as member of parliament, chairman of the major uh, party in Mongolia, as well as prime minister prior to becoming president, having served two terms as president. Um, he's a commissioner right now for the International Commission Against the Death Penalty and a patron of the World Sustainable Development Forum, a proud graduate from Harvard University's John F. Kennedy School of Government. Uh, then we have uh, Wang GC, uh, one of China's leading thinkers and uh, most respected intellectuals. He is the professor of the School of International Studies and president of the Institute of International and Strategic Studies at Peking University. Uh, he was a global scholar at Princeton. He's an honorary president of the Chinese Association for American Studies. And um, for many years, uh, he served as a member of the Foreign Policy Advisory Committee of China's Foreign Ministry. Uh, he holds uh, many other, uh, he holds many other affiliations and is also a director of the Institute of International Strategic Studies at the Central Party School of the Communist Party of China. Uh, then we have Douglas Powell, Vice President for Studies at Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Um, he previously served as Vice Chairman of J.P. Morgan Chase International, uh, but he was unofficial U.S. Representative to Taiwan. 
as director of the American Institute in, in Taiwan, 2006, uh, sorry, 2002 to 2006. Uh, he was in the National Council staffs of Presidents Reagan and uh, George H.W. Bush. Uh, and uh, he uh, also worked uh, in U.S. embassies in Singapore and Beijing. Uh, also a Harvard University graduate. Uh, then uh, we have, well, the, uh, the order is slightly different. I was about to introduce a Russian, but... It's definitely not a Russian, Mr. Uh, Yim Sung Jun, uh, senior advisor at Lee International IP and Law Group. Previously, he held the <coughs> position of president of the Korea Foundation. Served uh, for many years uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of South Korea. Uh, amongst other posts, he held uh, the position of ambassador to Canada and Egypt. Uh, served also as deputy minister of Foreign Affairs, graduated from um, Seoul National University, Oxford University, and Keio University. Josue Yuichi is the professor at the Faculty of Law at Keio University in Japan. Uh, previously, he was an assistant professor at Hokkaido University. He was a visiting researcher at Princeton, visiting professor at uh, Sciences Po in Paris. Uh, he's a former member of the advisory board at Japan's National Security Council. Uh, he was part of the Prime Minister's advisory panel on reconstruction of the legal basis, as well as on national security and defense capabilities. And last but not least uh, is uh, Georgi uh, Tolaraya, uh, one of Russia's foremost experts uh, on Korean affairs. Uh, he uh, served uh, in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in, of, of Russia, but he also served uh, in uh, Russia's embassies, both in the North and in the South Korea. He is uh, currently the Director of Korean Programs at the Institute of Economy at the Russian Academy of Science uh, and um, Professor of Oriental Studies at the Megimo Executive Director of the Russia's National Committee on BRICS Research. Um, without further ado, uh, I'm going to uh, give floor to President uh, Albert Dorge. And I'm going to ask you a question because um, you did visit North Korea more than once, and you were very active as president in uh, inter-Korean dialogue. Uh, gave you, you gave a famous speech in uh, Pyongyang about democracy. Um, it's a fascinating topic to be discussed there. So, Mr. President.